I'm over that level. Okay? Now I want to go to the amusement parks and I want to enjoy it. I want to go see, do, ride a little bit. Now you ain't going to drop me from nothing. Now let me just go on and put that out in the very beginning. Fuck that free fall bullshit. I ain't finna do none of that shit. I'm scary. I'm just gonna go and tell you the truth. I'm not gonna be able to drop from all the way up there. You finna drop me down for free? Fuck all that shit. I'm gonna need all kind of contracts signed. Notarized. Okay. In, in lieu of such and such. And this right here in case that there. Whoop the whop. Whoop whoop. I'm gonna need all that shit notarized. And I'm gonna need about four or five motherfuckers to attest to what just was told. You understand? Because I'm gonna need some kids to be taking care of the rest of their motherfucking life. You know what I mean? I'm gonna need some I'm gonna need some legacy coin. I'm gonna need some type of terms and conditions to where I'm gonna be alright in case this shit don't go right. You understand me? Yeah. So I don't do roller coasters. I don't do the free fall shit. I don't do the, I don't even do the Ferris wheel while you're bullshit. Even though that motherfucker's going slow. If you're going to do it to me, then goddamn it, let's get it over with. But you're not going to keep, just keep going. And every time we done with this about five motherfucking time, now you want to fuck around and take me this way? Oh, see, no, kill me now. Fuck that. I'm not going to be able to sign up for it. I ain't going to be able to do it. So, at any rate, you know, Saturday morning come, he texts me early. Baby. Yes. Good morning. What's going on, baby? Um, we're going to Universe Studios today. I said, oh, fuck. For real, baby? Is this what we getting ready to do? We getting ready to do this for real? Yeah, baby, let's go to Universe Studios today. I said, oh, shit. Okay, so, you know, I didn't want to be a Debbie Downer, and I didn't want to fuck it up, you know what I'm saying, and not go, because, you know, he's like, baby, you know, let's go, you know. Let the, you know, let's, let's go have some fun. Okay, let's do that then. So, to be a good camper about it, I went on and I went. So, that's what you guys seen. But at the end, when we went to go get, eat some dinner, you know, and I had thrown for a loop because he's always spending money all the time. Just like with that, where's my wallet at? Because I got me a whole season motherfucking pass. He was like, no, we're going to get the season passes so we can come back again. I was like, okay, no problem. So he had bought the season passes for us. And so, uh, <laughs> as we were sitting down having, so I was like, well, you know, you know, it was getting late and everything. So I was like, well, you know, let's go have some dinner, you know, and I'll, I'll get the dinner. That motherfucker looked at me. He gave me one of them damn it the hell looks like I was disrespectful. I was like, well, he was like, okay, what you want to have? Well, you pick it then. Okay, whatever. So we went to this little chicken spot. You know what I'm saying? You know black folks like some motherfucking chicken. We went to this chicken spot that was the lick. Do you understand me? That shit was so goddamn good. Yeah. But we got a three-piece with, it was a wing, a breast, and a thigh. These mashed potatoes was bomb, though. They had the skins in the motherfuckers. It came with a, a, a ear of corn and the bomb-ass motherfucking biscuit that was not um, red lobster, but it was a knockoff. And do you know that motherfucker right there was $17 for that? One plate. One plate. Okay? So, you know, and then we had got other shit too. You know what I mean? We had got all kind of other shit. So whereas we just had us a feast. Okay, well then let's try this and let's try this and let's try this and whatever. And uh, we had shakes and all kinds of just fat shit. We were just, just kids, you know. And so um, he asked me, did, was it really bothering me, you know, about the um, horror night. And I say, yeah, it's really bothering me. I did not want to not come because you were adamant about going. I did not want to come because I didn't want to miss the opportunity because it was like, you know, fruition of my dream. You know, how can I deny myself that? You know, I mean, I, you know, I talked this into existence and now it has manifest. I want to go and you just in the, out the blue, and mind you, in the dream I was talking about, I had this brown backpack in 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 this in this dream. Do you know? Y'all remember when I got this backpack? And I also got this backpack from the Goodwill, and it's a Coach backpack, authentic. It's a baby soft leather. Oh my God, badass backpack. So I had my backpack on, and I mean it was just so much fun. So while we're eating. 
he was like, well, babe, let's just go home. And I was like, for real? Because here at this point in time, they starting to lock shit up. You know what I mean? So we sitting down and we eating in the restaurant and they, the bar closed. And so we like, wait a minute. It, it ain't, it, it's just getting, getting ready to be seven o'clock. What's going on? So the guy tells us, cause babe was like, why are you guys closing up? He said, because horror night starts at seven. And so, you know, we, we close up all the restaurants and everything. So basically the way they doing this is nigga, you can't run in the gift shop or none of that shit. This whole, he said that everything, there's no safe zone. Them motherfucking zombies and shit is coming out from all kinds of goddamn corridors and behind trees on your ass. Fuck that. I'm not going to be able to do it. Now, I understand that we done already got our heads twisted back before we got out the ride. You know what I'm saying? But still, that shit done wore off after that motherfucker told me that everybody finna come out of this motherfucker. You got all kind of child's play motherfuckers and all these motherfuckers. Man, it's going to be a no to that shit. Because while we sitting there and the guy is all behind the counter and he just excited about it. Oh, yeah. You know, it's all kind of ghosts and goblins and Oh my God, it's so realistic. I I was fucked up. And I'm sitting there in the seat like heart palpitating shit. You know what I'm saying? So babe was holding my hand and he was like, you know what? We don't have to do this. Let's just go. We don't have to do this. We don't have to do it. We can come back another day and we can, you know, see the rest of the stuff. Because we didn't go, we didn't see, um, I wanted to do that uh, Jurassic Park, but once I found out that that motherfucker got a drop on it, 80-something feet, it's going to be a no on that shit, but that's at the lower lot. But it, I was like, babe, I want to do Jurassic Park. When we got to looking through that motherfucking booklet and the motherfucker said 84-foot drop, it's going to be a no on that. Now, baby, you can go ahead and get on it. Let me know how I go. Go ahead and take this flip for me so then therefore I don't miss nothing. You know what I mean? But being able to drop 80-something motherfucking feet, it's going to be a no on that shit. Uh-uh. Nope. So when we go back, <clears throat> we want to do the Transformers, the ride, and that was, I think that was lower level too. I know Jurassic Park was lower level. We didn't even go and go. It was so many people there. We didn't go and um, do the Harry Potter thing. He wanted to do the Walking Dead. I said, are you serious right now? I mean, he wanted to do all the kind of crazy shit. You know what I mean? And I felt like I was kind of holding him back a little bit because I was like, baby, you, are you, you really want to do this? <laughs> but he not one time, you know, tied me up or whatever. I guess because both of us was on tip status, so we was quiet as a motherfucker. We was like, shit, nigga, you still on the carpet? Shit, I'm on, nigga, we was on a carpet ride. You understand me? We didn't give a fuck. We was like, okay, you straight? I'm straight too. You straight? I'm straight. Hold my hand and keep my motherfucking ass standing upright. You know what I mean? And it was like that. You know, and we was quiet and just walking and just enjoying it and looking and shit and just, you know, some zen shit. We was doing us like a motherfucker. So anyway, needless to say, I had an awesome time. Had a wonderful, wonderful time and it was all good. So, let's roll that into yesterday. Yesterday, I went to the Goodwill, and oh my God, it was so beautiful. I got some of the most beautiful things. Um, I'm going to start off with some of the things that I have here in front of me. Um, this is a mirror. I don't too much want to flip it that way, but it is a mirror. And oh my God, it's very, very heavy. Um, one thing I am for Christmas, not only am I getting my house, my furnitures and furnishings and all reupholstered and tufted and all that stuff, but I want my um, vanity thing all hooked up and all that kind of stuff. So on my desk, I'll probably have this and then because there's no hooks on the back of it. Um, so, you know, and I don't want to drop it or break it. I mean, it's nice. I'm going to sit it on my vanity somehow, probably spray paint it, but it's heavy. It's good quality and it's just bomb. So I got this. Um, I got a lot of um, jewelry pieces. Um, this right here, oh my God, do you know this was in the Pandora box and everything? This is a Pandora authentic bracelet. Yeah. And guess what else? $5. Yes, 
And I just loved it. I was like, oh my God. So that was the motivation on putting this on is because I had put this on and it's just, and it has full Swarovski and crystals and it's just beautiful. I got this and this is a jade and it's kind of big because my ring finger is like a six and a half. And so I don't know what this is, but I'm like a six, six and a half. So this is too big for me, but I just wanted to wear it on this finger anyway. And so I just love, love, love that. But um, I had got a lot of natural stone pieces. You know, look, just bangle bracelets and just all kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. And I have this right here. And this is all, you know, stones. Look at this one. Oh, my God. And this is a rosary that's really, really pretty as well. Uh, my auntie was like, I don't know if I'll be getting no rosary. You gotta, you better make sure you pray something off that. Ain't no telling what kind of energy on it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that, auntie. Don't you worry about it. Nah, God, I got that. Um, I also got me some Brenton readers. Let me show you what the case looks like. Real feminine um, um, line of women eyewear. It's made by Brenton. Um, and it's um, a mid-grade uh, line. But Brenton is it's well-known. Um, but it's not, it won't be like my Tiffany, my Tiffany rims. It's not on that level, but it's more of a mid-grade. It will be higher than a Michael Kors. I don't know. I don't really fuck with Michael Kors. No way, but, you know, not, well, I shouldn't have said that. Because somebody's going, well, what's wrong with Michael Kors? I just, I just, I just don't like Michael Kors. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just know, know nothing. It don't mean nothing. I mean, some people like red and some people like blue. Okay? I happen to like red if I had the choice of the two. So, I just don't like Michael Kors. I don't like Tommy Hilfiger either, to be perfectly honest with you. But, um, Brenton is, uh, it will probably be on along the line of a Michael Kors. I would say Michael Kors. Um, and, uh, but yeah. Um, but I do believe, I don't know if, I don't know. But um, these frames here are called Love Daisies. Check that out. Aren't they cute? And they have Shavasi and crystals and shit. I'm going to have to clean it up because it's dirty, you know. I don't know who the donor was or what, you know, what was up with her. But I'm going to clean them all up. But they're so cute. And they remind me of my Tiffany ones. And, and this is also like a natural type. Wow. I mean, just very, very cute little readers. And I think they're 2.5 or something. They're a little strong, but I, I, I like them. Um, what else did I get? Um, I got um, this pillow. Um, I'm going to wash it and put it through the steam cycle um, before I put it on my bed or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I got that. Um, so now do you guys want to see the purses that I got? You want to see the purses that I got? Oh, I also got some cookbooks and stuff. I've been doing my homework because um, we're going to do like a non-stop November. Now, don't hold me to that every shit, every day shit now. But we're going to non-stop this damn thing. I'm, I'm going to be more regular with my uploads and much more regular with my cooking videos as well. So, we're going to do those types of things this month and, you know, for the holiday season. So... But I'm going to start with the cheapest bag um, that I got, which my boy charged me uh, like $3 and something. And it's this one, which is damaged. And that is the reason why. It is a Dooney and Burke. It is damaged. Um, I don't know what happened, but the, the, um, the coating has split itself away from the material. Like, it's a coating that's on here because once like in some spaces some spots like up here around the handle you can see where it's been like separated i don't know if i'm making sense but right here you can see the separation here okay and then you can go up under this plastic coating and when you go up under this plastic coating then it's still you know nice you know the regular you know, color that it should be. But this coating here, I don't know if this was in some heat or something that made it separate itself. I don't know. But it is a, a authentic uh, Dooney and Burke, but it's just, it's, it's just in horrible quality. 
So it was six ninety nine, and it was a white tag, so it was three dollars and fifty cents. So um, I got it anyway. You know what I mean? I, it's probably I'm certain it's something that I would never use. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so I just got it. You know what I mean? I just got it just to be getting it. You know what I'm saying? Because he was like, "Well, Tina, you know, here's another one. I know it's probably ain't gonna you ain't gonna fuck with it, but but for three dollars I got it. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I got that. Um, I also had another Dooney and Burke bag that when I got home and I looked at the handle, the handle was actually a mixed match handle from the handle that was actually on there. Mind you, my boy charged me $19.99 with my military discount of 15% off. It turned out to be $16.99, so I had to take that one back, and I got this number here. I took the Dooney and Burke bag, I got the coach, and oh my God, look at the quality. And it's like a metallic uh, copper type um, thing, uh, um, handles, like gold trimming and stuff. But it's cute. It's dirty. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm kind of, you know, on how I touch it because I can see that it's dirty. But it's so cute. Isn't that cute? So how about when I took the other one back, he just gave me an even exchange. Now, mind you, this one was more. This one, I think, was $29.99. Yep, $29.99. So this one was actually more than the other one because the other one was $19.99. But he was like, well, I'll just swap it out. I was like, okay, cool, no problem. And then he was like, and then I'll throw your military discount on there and then it'll just be an even exchange from that bag to this one. So, and I was like, you know what, baby? You know what? You always take care of my ass. You just takes care of me like nobody's business. So I got that one. But do you want to see the coupe de gras? And guess what else? He charged me $19.99, 15% off military uh, discount, $16.99. Check this out. Messenger bag. Why you bullshit? $16.99, I won, okay, I won, baby, and so, uh, so that's how my, um, uh, oh, I got a mister that's over there, I didn't bring it over here, um, it's sort of like this diffuser, but this one, um, it's a little bit bigger, and it's a glass globe, um, and it mists, you can also put oils in it, and it changes, um, from different colors, um, so I got that. I got a great deal of cookbooks. I got a black ceramic Santa Claus cookie jar that was so bomb and beautiful. I got some sconces that go on the wall that I'm going to have um, spray painted. Um, let's see. I got a lot of little um, whatnots and things of that for the front part of the house. Um, so that's what I did. Oh, to redo this chair here is $350. Um, 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 I contracted with this guy. He's going to do my chairs and everything. So Junior is going to do this for $350 or $250 if I get my own material. And I want a purple, a beautiful, deep, royal purple, more of like a velvet, velveteen type. Yes, but with the tuft. Um, crystal knobs, knockers in there. So, um, and then I want it spray painted like a silver. So, yeah, so that is, that, that's my, um, gift for me and for the house is that I'm going to have the front part of the house furnishings redone and some painting and stuff done up there. And in my boudoir, I'm going to have my vanity set up because I think I'm going to use this as my van my vanity uh, chair um, in front of, you know, the mirror and the globes and all that kind of stuff and the, you know, the crystals and the white and all.